Hello and welcome to the HDMI Culinary TV. Today we make something very simple but fantastic, delicious at any time. It's called Brandy Snap. The British people will know what I'm talking about. Brandy Snap is a part of a dessert, can be part of decoration or part of the setup for dessert. So what do we need? Very few ingredients, basically five ingredients and most of them you have in your home already. We have juice. 150 ml, like I said, orange or pineapple, sugar, 400 grams, flour, 150 gram, melted butter, 150 gram, and sesame seeds, 75. Here also, sesame seeds you can substitute with uh, ground hazelnuts, coconut, uh, ground almonds, whatever you prefer. So now we bring our ingredients together. What we do is first, we add our juice into the bowl. Then we add our sugar, which is quite a lot. Give it a little bit of a stir. Then we add our flour, mold at once. And also stir that till it all ingredients are combined together. Only after we have mixed the flour into the juice and the sugar, then we will add our melted butter. The butter should be just melted, not too hot, just so that it's liquid. There we go. And again we stir till the mixture, everything is well mixed and combined. This already is your basic brandy snap batter dough, if you want to call it. And then we just add a little bit more flavoring, seasoning, taste. And in our case, I prefer sesame seeds because they're very delicate flavor and they look very pretty also in the final product. There we go, butter is all in. Now the last, sesame seeds. There you go, ready. Now, because of the high sugar content and the butter, this batter will keep in the fridge for a week. So it's ideal to make it a few days in advance. You just remove it a few hours before you want to use it. Because of the butter, it will be quite firm. So if you keep it out at room temperature for a few hours, it will come soft. Not as soft as this, but spreadable. So now the batter is ready. Next step is that we want to spread it out onto baking sheets and here at HDMI we use silicon which is a special material for, for baking. You'll find it most supermarkets these days, the shops, they carry silicon sheets because you can bake them, you can freeze them and they're non-stick all the time. Now we want to make a certain shape. For instance, we would like to make a basket to hold cookies or small cakes or so. So we'll take some of the butter out, put it on our tray, and then with the spatula, we spread it fairly thin. So for instance, we do this shape for one, and then we'll do some another shape or shapes, round discs, and really you just need a small dot, maybe walnut size or a little bit smaller, so again you want to keep it thin, there, and this one with the back of the spoon, we just spread it around to a nice 
round shape. There you go. So these are now ready for baking. What we do is we put them, I put them on the back of a baking tray. Just like this. And then we put them in the oven for baking. The temperature I suggest is about 190 degrees. And they will take maybe 10 minutes maximum to bake till they have a nice golden brown color. All right. Here we have our baked brandy snap. Baked golden brown in the oven. And as you can see, it's still quite soft. So now the trick is to wait for the perfect moment to remove it, give it a shape and let it cool. So it will get nice, firm and crispy. I usually use any container. You can use a, a bowl, a glass, something, whatever shape, which can take a little bit of heat to give a shape. So then we wait. See, now it comes firmer. And in a minute or two, we can pick it up and give it a shape. And the trick is really to wait for that, perma that perfect moment. Maybe you have 20 seconds of a time frame where you can do this. Once it's too hot, while it's still too hot, it will be too soft, it will break into pieces. And once it's too cold, it will be too firm to be shaped. Then also once you want to move it, it will break. There you see, almost there. Because what has happened with this uh, dough here, the sugar has melted and caramelized. The flour is just there to give it a little bit of hold. And the juice also to give a little bit moisture to it, which then during the baking process, the juice evaporates, but it leaves a nice flavor. And now we will try. We can remove it. And there you see. And it will fall by itself to give that nice ball shape. There. We let that cool. Now we get our small brandy snaps. And we have our baked brandy snap, small round discs this time. And again, we have to wait for that right moment. So what we can do here, we can make small cups. So we need something for it to hold the shape. Or we can make small rolls, which we can then fill with the custard, with the cream, with something. Again, timing is important. It's a little bit hot, but once you burn your finger once or twice, then you get used to it. Again, with the spatula, we can pick it up. Just place it over, and again, it will fall, and with a little bit help, we can give that shape to it. That nice ball basket shape. And again, we let that cool. And here, with a wooden pin or something, we just pick it up, roll it over the pin, take it off the hot tray, so it will cool down quickly. Roll a little bit. Maybe if you have a hair dryer set on cold, cold air, that will help. And there we go. We have nice. We call them cigars, cigar-shaped brandy snap crisps. Again, to cool a little bit, so it will hold the shape. If you remove too early, maybe it will fall together. There. And all this in less than 10 minutes. Again, the dough you can prepare a day, three days before. And if you like these brandy snaps also, the day before you want to serve your friends or guests. And that's it. They're cold now. 
can pick them up. Here we have cigars, here we have small basket, and here I like to make sometimes to surprise our customers, make a big basket, in which then you can fill cookies or small cakes, dry items mostly, to serve on a platter. The small ones, again, you can fill with a mousse, a nice chocolate mousse inside, or some cream, custard, or just whipped cream, fresh fruit on top. You have very nice beautiful, crisp, very light, delicious containers. The cigars also I would fill maybe with some cream, sweetened cream or a custard and so and with some fruit. Fantastic. And there we have it. Brandy snap. Very few simple ingredients. Juice, flour, sugar, butter, a little bit sesame seeds and we can prepare with those few ingredients we can make small cigars, which we can stuff with the cream and fruit. We can make basket, which we also can fill with the mousse or any kind of cream. Or we can make a little bit of a showcase out of it, a basket with cookies, small cakes or dry cakes inside. And afterwards you can eat the basket too. And with that, I remain bada bing bada boom, best wishes and great dishes.